If only I can edit my last video, I can put dum 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 to be continued. But yeah, last time, for guys that didn't know, we finally win the sentence and everything, the trial. We win it for Lini. Lini now is innocent. And then we learn that that's their father is the knave. So does that mean they are the father is here? It's on the second episode, right? Or the third of my channel, the episode anyway. We heard about father being not home. Does that mean the knave is there? One of the harbinger? Who knows? Either way, let's continue. With that being said, subscribe, hit the like button. Knave? The one who controls the house of the hearth? She's your father? Oh, she. Wait. She. What? Well, she is your That's father. Right. And since we're here, I was wondering, would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Oh, I would. It's probably a cutting or some kind. But yeah, the knave. Why not mother but father? I'm confused. Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer who did magic. It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. But I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. Oh, I really hope I was there so I could take you guys in, because I feel... Oh. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. But it's the House of but Heart. I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, he was really after my talent for magic tricks. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. Oh, never mind. Oh, that, that doesn't oh. seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the same return vehicle as me. Wait, what happened to Lynette? I'm scared. I though. waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was... She caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh, oh. Boy, died that person immediately right on the spot, oh, actually. No. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? Noble, I as guess, right? As far as outsiders are concerned, this is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care, and they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. Villains. So what happened after that? To I the managed map? to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards, and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. Protecting Lynette, is so, it? she'd already taken care of that guy. Which means Lynette is That's safe. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Yikes, what the heck is this? What? This is so Father, dark. I mean, the knave might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. I mean, she'll be a mother than a father because she, but the sure. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never be permitted here. I'm guessing you figure out something again. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had just been betrayed by nobles. But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first, giving us back our freedom. Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. That's all in the past, though. 
The knife is after the gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. Not telling us the thing is not gonna help you with our friendship. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power once she obtains it. She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. Oh! So does that mean she is from Fontaine? She wants to save Fontaine then? So the knife is not that bad. Well, actually, I don't know. So she believes in that prophecy too? That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to combat that crisis. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us House members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So. From small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I... Well, I'm not sorry, I already said it's just on the past. Don't let the past divide who is your friend is, but... Yeah, Lumin, apologize! I'm sorry, but I still kinda completely trust you. Never mind! <laughs> sure, sure, I thought you were gonna apologize for what you said, but okay. It's alright, I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything at all in the future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. I want to only say I understand. I don't want to say goodbye, because it's not a goodbye. First of all, it's a bad buy. Second of all, we're probably gonna meet again. Oh, why do, why do our friendship end like this? I guess that's why Lumin's still so pure. I understand. Um, bye, Linny. Oh, Paimon. Yeah, what happened? With that, then the trial is done. We learned some truth about Linnea and Lynette's past. But still, since they didn't tell us the truth in the past, Lumin kind of have... Hey there! What was with the some disappearing problem. act you pulled right as the trial ended? I... Were you well... looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so, too? Well, we were here to help our friend until, yeah, the bad mood hit, so now, well, I... I'm sorry, Navia. Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? The truth is, I was really only trying to defend... defend Lini. But I wasn't necessarily looking into serial disappearance cases. <laughs> We're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? Huh. I hope they just not panic and run around. Navia also want to protect Fontaine. I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I suppose you are just travelers who have only arrived in Fontaine, after all. Now Navia's gonna tell a sad story again. No! Guessing again Navia to protect this area and thought we can help because we have made our name known from other spot. But again, that is just an accident. Sorry. I might have been too presumptuous. Don't say that, Navia. Oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. I also have a lot of fun eating the macros. It's like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm a bit prone to nostalgia. Don't mind me. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Sure. Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Uh, well, guess you really did treat us as partners, huh? 
And Paimon, this is where we go. Um, she may not fall asleep, well, literally. I just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. That way there are no regrets later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time. Well, if you say so, let's go and have that you meal then. You have to twist Paimon's arm if Boss Navi is treating Kim Paimon in. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? I believe we'll make it just in time for dinner. All right then, let's have our farewell meal. I feel like something gonna happen. Oh no, with that then, the egg white complete, permanent blanker, nor curve. I'm so sorry, I cannot speak. It's done. Offering to the fountain of sin. What is that? Now again, the prelude of blanker is done. We got next one, which is egg two, but that is it for egg one. It's only have been 10 minutes. Anyway, jumping on to the next one, as light rain falls without reason. Chapter four, egg two, is started. Yeah, I'm so sorry, the title on this probably gonna be this. Like the faint moonlight of yesteryear. We got trouble. Okay. Hello there, our ongoing performance trial at present. I see. Okay. All right. Either way, though. Again, let's continue to next stuff. We are going to the hotel. Wow, that's a long journey. Luckily, I got a waypoint. Easy. But yeah, there we go. The first part. The egg was actually amazing on the trial and you solving the case as well. Imagine if they can actually make you, you know, false, say wrong stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be wrong. But either way, there we go, that's the first one. 10 minutes for the ending one, and we're jumping to the next one, or Act 2 now. Again, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna title it Act 2 as always. Hey, we're at the hotel. Bro, the music is so nice. Okay, it'll enter the hotel of and something. I forgot what it's called. Either way though, let's see, let's go in. Hmm. Farewell, I came meal. here several times with my father when I was little. But stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Yeah, it's fine, right? If we are screaming, cause oh, don't Paimon. Don't worry, we haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already. Paimon is screaming. Oh, talking about the hotel. The only time that we eat on a hotel is on Leo, right? Is it? Once that we don't have a hotel, in Azuma, uh, we got tea house instead, and with Ayaka eating. Sumeru, is that a hotel? It like it's just a house, I guess. I don't know. Hmm, we'll in see. that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Um, could we not find a seat first rather than waiting on the door? Ooh, everything looks so good. People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. How about the others? By the way, Silver and the Grand Of Pop? course. Go ahead. Try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. And people will think that you are, yeah, bad person. What is it called? Uh, when you don't want to spend money? Something yeah. like that. Sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. Yeah, so for it not to be sad, it's certainly worth celebrating. Between attorney, I really wish we can invite Lini and Lynette though. By the way, it was a pleasure working with you guys. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Yeah, Paimon, you eat all of these, okay? Well, Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. But Paimon will say not no. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> ha. Speaking of cases, ha. do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? We all know that the one is the knave. Oh no, the knave want to protect though. So that means the knave will not make people disappeared but wait yeah that's actually important oh wait maybe the knave say that but the knave don't want to protect who knows either way we'll, we'll see we've certainly taken a big step forward but i feel that's about it we know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women but we still don't know what they are really after 
And also, why is it only young women? If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Wait, I'm eating as well? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh hop up. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking. <sighs> we were so close to hearing who was behind it. I'm glad it's the knife. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. Oh, you guys already eat your food? I'm about to say eat your food. Don't just to let me eat. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. I know with Linnea and Lynette. Oh, probably only Linnea. Uh, with Linnea's explanation, it sounds like the Nave want to protect Fontaine. But based off what happened, I believe the Nave is the one that dissolved people. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability. It's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single, narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those oh. highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through. Where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Oh! <laughs> Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <sighs> it's all right. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Uh, well, I'm having fun hearing it. Also, if this is a farewell meal, where are we going? We're supposed to talk to Furina about our brother and Let's stuff. Let's talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? Well, our first plan was coming here. We want to ask the Hydro Archon for some information about my missing brother. But we haven't had much opportunity to do so because the Hydro Archon is, well, interesting. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. And if we talk to her right now, she's probably gonna say, what, mocking me because hmm. I lose? I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. Thank you for saying it's foiled. <laughs> I appreciate it I very much. That there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. Uh, it's not just today. Yeah, we've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. I'm actually curious how Freena got the seat or the seven. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? What? Guess that's Spina di Rosula's bus for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Her late night, we break into her bedroom. Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play, don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. Okay, and also break into the opera house. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get caught instead. <sighs> All right, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then wake her uh up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. So I'm gonna be the one that make her stay up late night. Yeah, yay! That one sounds. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> That one, if you know what is my brain thinking, you might think other stuff. I can personally what? testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. I don't think it worked with her. Also, how the heck I hide under her bed? Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. 
Yeah, infiltrate at Arconis house. That sounds nice. What? <laughs> that what is sounds so sassy. Ah, what the heck? Valid point. I overlooked that Valid? part. I was just thinking what? about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. Uh, 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 okay. So you don't care about people breaking to your house? How can you overlook something like that? <laughs> all right, all right. No more joking around. Huh. Perhaps you could. I could. Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when eh. she's on a break. Huh? You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. Yeah, that's that's what I want. But again, people gonna look this again. Arcon also got a feeling. Well, this Archon definitely got emotion. <laughs> this are probably gonna say something about what? Come mock me, cause I lose something like that. So it's kind of you, you know. That if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse. Oh, that does make some sense. Or she can run away, cause again, the one on the court is not her true self. Well, it's worth a try. Will someone with her personality really feel shame? It will. Again, that's not her. Personality like Why the real one. give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Don't strike uh -huh. the iron. Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? What is Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like what, what to is order Fanta? Is it a fizzy red water? No, it's fine. We're just about done here. Oh, so how come you're... Yeah, wait, what? That's so All far. Right. Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. So that's how it tastes. I'd have to agree. My ring also tasted that way too. Unless Navia put something Is that here. so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. By the way, just to put out there, we're the one that speaks the loudest. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. What happened? I feel like something big about to happen. Um, Lord is gonna take some time. Literally. There you go. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. I mean, you could finally try walking, you know? You could try floating a little lower. No, walking. Yeah, that would be so... normal. You know, like you. Well, I, I just want to see my cute Paimon walk. Baba Deepo ready. Come on, let, hmm. let walk. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with... Huh. Navia don't have money, but act like you got a lot of money. Hey, uh -oh. Navia! What are you doing over there? No! Another one to add on the list of Zhongli Mona, please. Oh, oh please. Nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> <sighs> no! Not another one. This one look fancy, though. Since that was pretty tough for her. It was a pretty pricey meal. Well, all thanks to Paimon. <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Aw, thank you. I don't know how we become best friends, uh, but we are. In any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! I actually like Navia. I hope you're not the five stars, cause why? Well, a slide falls without reason. What an awesome way to show it. Well, I said I was actually one to pull for her, but if she is a five stars, that might need a little bit more consideration. But we'll see. Otherwise, I go to the Fountain Plaza in front of the Opera House. I don't think we can find Navia anywhere. How about Lillian Lynette? I already forgot their house location. Anyway, let's go there. Okay, we're here. On the right side, we got the couple with couple Lian and couple something. If you're single, beat them up first. Go. 
Yeah, let's see what happened here. Are we supposed to meet her here or are we supposed to wait for her here? There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneas might have been the last one. The shade. Who knows? That voice again. Hmm. Looks like we're back here again. Huh? Traveler? Are you hearing voices again? Yeah. And it's clearer than it was during the day. Oof. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Uh, yeah. I'm the only one that can hear it, so Pamela is fine. Vache. I'm not Vache. Oh, wait! Does that mean the young woman that got transformed or dissolved is here? Hey. I can feel strong emotion, but things are getting a little bit blurry. Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. It's calling for Vashe, right? Yep. Hey, Traveler, stop walking. Come on, wake up! Where is Vache, this? Are you my dear Vache? Uh, I'm so sorry, I, I am a dear Lumin. No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where I'm love afraid. Is? No. I'm sorry, who are I'm... you? Wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry, I fear I do not know. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide, never to be recovered. With that being said, yeah, this is the dissolve that I talk about. They become Oceanian. Maybe. I'm not too How sure. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? You're once... Wait, human? Well, we know that, but yes, yeah. that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. You lost your form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water. And then all grew dim. Light blue water. Could that have been... Could she be one of the girls who were dissolved? Man, I already figured that out, Lumin. Like, in the act one, but okay. I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure. Loved exploring places of peril. And no matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me. And I also loved him equally as much. Will we meet Vache then? But now... We can no longer go back. The pain of such parting. I never knew how heavy it could be. The problem as well is we don't know how long this have been as well. So you need me to find him. No. Our reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no sucker. So let it lie forgotten beneath the waters. If you meet Vashe, tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. I believe it will be hard to, for him to forget you. Because you are very dear for Perhaps him. Perhaps that is so. As I was submerged in the waters, losing consciousness, I saw Vache above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. So Vache has come here to this fountain to wish upon the return of, well, whoever you are. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. 
Oh wait, that means Van Shea was a witness to the fact that you dissolved? Is that what you call it? Dissolving. If anything, I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time, and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. It seems that after the body dissolves, some measure of the consciousness still remains in the water. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. Is that Paimon? Ah, oh, right. I wonder how much time has passed in reality. Well, well then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. I'm not. I hope I'm not wet. Uh, can I just talk? I hope I'm not wet when I woke up. of Gardamex. I should so. thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? What happened while we were sleeping? <laughs> um... What? What happened? There's no way it... There's no way it's the Hydro Archon is madness, right? Bro, that cutscene is awesome showing Clorand and Navia fight. I hope the cutscene is not lagging though, I'm pretty sure it's not. I hope it's loud enough as well, but... Wow, that's so cool, but what happened? We just literally woke up. I'm oh, sorry, it keeps freezing. I keep tapping out just to check the time. I followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. What just happened? It's more like... Yeah, wait, what just happened then? I have a feeling the knife is behind those, but... What? Thanks, luckily they are here, or Paimon gonna fight those robot alone, but... I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? Yeah, Mr. it is. Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same, were he alive today. Got it, so... Dad is your father, Navia is father. And Corin once was... He is... Something. Like, I don't know, maid, butler, something like that. Protector, guard, Do something not like that. speak of my father. Sorry, Demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Corand, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. We don't know what happened to their father, so he cannot say anything. Also, again, Miss Clorin, just state why she is here. Sorry, I... 
Do not consider your feelings. Judging by how Chloe talk, uh, it's kind of probably hard for emotion to Whatever. flow. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? So what happened to the robot? Isn't them supposed to protect? I don't know much more than you, but I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. With that start with Act 2 being the most dangerous stuff. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamax? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means, deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. <laughs> Corinne, you just apologize about the emotion stuff, and now you say that? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I will continue investigating no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. Seems like something happened to your father that got something to do with... I don't know, him being guilty, I guess? Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Anybody care to explain what happened? I woke up right. then. I suppose well. that's the best news we've gotten today. What just the happened? Bozelle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. Melissa's well, not wrong, but the answer is probably gonna be no. I know, I just... She's... <sighs> okay, good. Navi at least didn't say no, but what happened? Who was that? What's going on? Why did I, you know, woke up in the middle of a war? Oh, thank goodness! I'm a doubt we were done for! Yeah, thank you, Navia, for protecting us. Those garments came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, and Nadia and her gang saved us! Oh, and there was that champion duelist named Clorand who came out to save us, too! We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, wait, so you're a fighter now, Paimon? Can you even do that? Also, thank you so much, Navia, for rescuing oh. us. <laughs> Come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. Oh, I should like her more now, gosh darn it. The problem is, why is she a Geo? I don't use Geo that As much. Such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. But I'll still pull for Navia. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. <laughs> she is stalking us. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed somehow? Cool, Paimon's even more amazing than she thought! Uh, you see. All thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Wait, uh, what? How did that help? Yeah, I am going to ask, like, what how? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. What did she that say? The Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky. Wait, do you mean that? I thought it tastes strange as well, but I couldn't be sure. I'm guessing that's why we pass out here. Is Fanta that why? Only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. But again, I don't know if we got hypnotized kind of or something like so that. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the primordial sea? Oh, they tried to dissolve us. Yes. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... 
you will dissolve. Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. By accident. Oh, really? Fortunately, Paimon, neither of us are from Fontaine. Otherwise, we will have been like. I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate, but whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. But why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name. Oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? I'm guessing is the whole reason this sounds clearer is not because it's night time, because we drink the drink. That's why you can see the Oceanid and talk to. Interesting. Another thing is, well, I'm guessing because they're about to get caught. Well, if they're from the tweet, then uh, there's more reason there. But who knows? You did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Uh, yeah. Well, it can't be coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. She said that she heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Also, again, Paimon can hear it now, so yeah, probably because of the dream. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too, but it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? According to Lynette, the ability to hear the voice like that has to do with what is sensitivity to the hydro element, which I will this without Does fission. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. Well, I also gained some new intel. New intel? While you were out cold? Yeah, thank you for not bringing me any, you know, stuff to cover me with. Uh, well, let's hear it, shall we? Okay, by the way, the voice in the fountain belonged to one of the missing women, aka they got dissolved. A person named Vajé was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that... Is important. You tell everyone what happened when you talk with the Ocean. That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Or maybe it was decade ago. Decade, decade. Since I he know. saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. Could he have been threatened? If he is still alive, well, we shall try searching for him yes, now. Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. Alrighty, partner. By we, you mean us too, right, oh, partner? You mean you'll help us investigate? Well, you saved my well, life. You did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? And besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not gonna let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Messing with us will cost them money. This will prove to be their biggest mistake. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. It's alright, it's to us. We are <laughs> Come, friends. you talk too much. Well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. Another thing is, yeah, she looks so pleased, but, you know, maybe the other people don't know that she looks we so pleased. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. In your basement, deepen our bonds? I would love to. All right, let's go. To. With us around, our base right. is definitely secure. Okay. Say the one that don't have vision anyway. So that's a turn off from a van. I don't know what's going on there. That is big, bro. That cutscene is so good. Oh, I like it a lot, bro. That battle, that's amazing. Okay, basement. Oh, it's literal basement. It's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Do you know if somebody actually do huh, that? Very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, Traveler. 
Not gonna lie, with Navia being a character, I feel like we're not playing Genshin at all. I don't know why. Something about her feels so different. Alright, either way though, we're going... Where are we going? Oh, going through here? Oh, so there is underground to this map. Well... Whoa, that's a pipe. I mean, what? I mean, that's cool. Uh, either way, the top right, the pink problem, just let it be, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's probably because a lot of people are logging in. If I log in early, <laughs> it's gonna be green, but if it's this time, as always on Asia, a lot of people are playing. Don't mind me, I'm going down the tunnel. We are become a turtle. No different one. I actually didn't know there's gonna be a tunnel. There are people here. There is something here, is there? No, there's gonna be a hidden chest. Alright. Okay, why are we in a tunnel? Is this normal? Well, it seems like people that need help is down here, but I'm not too sure what's going on here. I literally I need a lot of explanation for this stuff. We have seen the other, yeah, the, yeah, the sewer on the trailer, but I actually entirely forgot it exists. In the entire city, wow. Wow. That's huge. Okay. So where are we going? That way. Bro, dang, just in the tunnel? Kind of disgusting though if you think about it, but don't think about it. A slump, yes. So, uh, this is your base? It's not quite what Paimon imagined. Is this the road, Your zone? accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Thank you. Uh, so much for my expectation. I mean, thank you. I didn't say anything. What? <laughs> Well, our funds have been a little tight lately. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Oh. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father... He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Uh, Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. Yeah, I don't want to bring some emotion stuff here or I'm cry. Not... So. I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes. The same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Well, where did the music came Three from? Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist ring. Yeah, wait, don't tell me the one that your father fight is Chlorine. Oh no. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. I see. I have seen. Okay, I see how the path go now. The duel is with Chlorine, and your father's final wish is, yeah, final wish to Chlorine is for Chlorine to protect you. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. I said but I... strangely, he not only requested the duel himself. Rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. And alive, and alive. Stop, stop using that D word. <laughs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? And alive. <laughs> if anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. It does seem quite odd. 
Do you have any clues as to why? The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. To try to help your father figure it out, I that's see. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. If. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Oh, that's worse. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Oh, that word just hit me so hard. This last word. Seeking the truth for the sake of your family. I'm guessing the father didn't mention about your mother giving birth and, you know, because of you, so you don't feel guilty. You know, we're quite alike in this regard. Our brother. Dorota, please. If there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, demoiselle. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. As always, as much as you do a lot of kindness, if people just, you know, frame you, people will just don't believe you. That's how the world and everything goes. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances at present. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? The problem is reality is not like that, Paimon. People will go into mobs rather than, uh, you know. No, perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. People yep. love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. I... Developer, what are you trying to say here? What? How could... Ugh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. Uh, there is one other thing. Master Callus's opponent in the duel was Ms. Corand. Bum, bum, bum. If only I did not figure it out ages ago. <laughs> that one's kind of easy to guess. Yeah, since Chlorine, as you can see, can fight, also got a vision, and also part of the guards, or something like that. Yeah, it's kind of easy to guess that the duel is Chlorine. Again, I already say that a bunch of times oh. already. Isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? No wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Like I said, that's all reason uh, Navia is mad with Chlorine, even though Chlorine protect her. Again, probably the father's final wish is to Chlorine to protect Navia. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. Miss Chlorine has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. To honor that person. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but seeing That's how worse. he was resolute in the arena... Oh, that is worse. Which means Miss Chlorine will honor Callus till the end. Oh, that... Chlorine probably got some damage as well from that. Not damage from battle, but... Emotional damage? There was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all. But I... I just can't deal with this yet. Yeah, I understand. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Coran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. 
that that indicates that he intended to perish in the duel. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? Why, Papa? Why? All right. Anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. No, it's alright. I understand how important this is to you. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Yeah. It is. I want to eat. I you just woke Please, me up, but okay. Relax and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Alright. That being said, and that's gonna wrap up this segment. Whether it be responsibility for Spina di Rosula or Master Callus's death, it all landed on Dimoiselle's shoulders so suddenly. This won't do. I must become stronger. Yes, Silver, that's the spirit. But that, that I'm gonna end the part here as always. There you go. We learned a lot of secrets. We see an amazing cutscene. We also unlock a new place, which is the underground. Probably you can already come here beforehand, but I don't know the way, so we didn't. Alright, with that being said, as always, subscribe and the like button. I stream every day, link description down below. Next one is gonna be a big journey for us, and yeah, we're gonna end it here as well for a stream. I still stream, but I do other stuff, but yeah. I'll see all of you on next video. Have a nice day or nice night. Goodbye.